Hi, this is Darwin. I'm about to take you on a tour of my um, setup for headshots. So let's take a little walk. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is my basic setup, I guess you could call it. Okay, let me explain what I have here. Okay, let's start with the, the camera. Well, the setup here, the tripod is a Ravelli tripod with a ball head. And the camera is a Nikon D7100. And it has a 50 millimeter 1.8D lens. I attached a lens hood to prevent from picking up any um, glare from the flash. Okay. What I have done here is zip tied six crates together, three each. And then on top of that, I have a whiteboard and also a thin whiteboard also with that, um, propped up with, with whatever you can find to prop it up with pretty much, just to um, reflect light back into the face of the subject to give them a little, give them a little more light, say under the chin or yeah, pretty much under the chin. Um, I have a foam board here that also helps with bouncing light back into your subject's face. My light stand is a Linko light stand. A very good wide based, as you can see. So it's not easily toppled over or anything like that. On that light stand, I have a newer C180 strobe. It's a, it's a basic strobe, but it works great. Um, it's all plastic. So it, it's, I have to be real delicate with it so that I don't have to spend on more of them. I purchased two and I've loved them ever since. Um, not looking into buying the expensive stuff right now, which is not necessary. Okay, along with that, I have my beauty dish. It's a 22 inch beauty dish. And that is attached to my boom arm. Which is also attached to my other Linko light stand. Now on the camera itself, I have a, I think it was, say about $20 wireless trigger set. Uh, this is the transmitter. And that transmitter, okay, then on the strobe itself, I have it attached with the sync cord running down to the side onto the receiver. Now, camera right. I have a large five in one reflector using the black side. Camera left, I taped, spray painted together three other foam boards. One side of it I spray, paint, spray painted black, the other is just white until I purchase another um, reflector. 
The reason why we use the black side is to cut down on the stray light that might be coming in. Um, that's clamped on to the light stand to prevent it from spinning or moving whichever way it wants. In the back, we have my backdrop stand, which I use just a plain bed sheet and clamped across the top and on the sides as well, just to keep it as straight as possible. Now let's look at this from the other side. And that's the stool for where the subject will be. And what happens on this side, once you trigger your camera, that triggers your flash immediately with the transmitter and the receiver. Um, your flash fires into your subject's face. Whatever light that emits from it hits whatever is white and bounces off back into toward your subject. Now, the reason why I have my backdrop stand that distance away is to have less light hitting the background. And what happens when it does that is that it makes it a little darker. With a white background, you can pretty much change that without, well, change the color by pointing your light slightly away from the background, which turns it gray, or move it backwards, I should say, because flash has a fall-off point, as you know. Um, also, you can switch it to black as well by either doing some dramatic side lighting or cross lighting which is where you turn the lights apparently the way the um the two reflectors are right now and what that does is it only hits across the subject but does not spill out towards the background so the background will fall into blackness now, as you know, everybody's skin tone is different, so that has to be taken into consideration when photographing people. So presently, my camera settings are, I'm on manual, 1 one twenty-fifth of a second at f8, 10 second timer, single point focus, ISO 400, white balance set to daylight, and now I'm on raw. Um, and set to DX format. So this is my setup for headshots. And I have some, um, I've taken a few images from this so that I can pretty much show that, um, show the results. My setting on my strobe is at its lowest. At its lowest setting. There are no dials or numbers on it to, to distinguish how much power you're using. So you'll have to gauge it on your own if you're looking to purchase these. These run below $100. I believe I purchased these for uh, $45 each. So that's that. The tripod, I believe I paid $70 for it, as well as the light stands are that much, I believe. Um, the beauty dish, I believe, was 50 The boom arm was 30 The triggers were 20 and that's about it. So I hope this will help you or get you to, you know, try it out if you, if you feel up to it. And... Um, Stay tuned for a few images of the results from this setup. Thank you for watching and have a great day.